anti-wrinkle injections, Botox and fillers. The face of anti-wrinkle treatment is changing with the rapid rise of injectables, Botox and fillers. Botox, cosmetic fillers and other injectables are increasingly popular for treating wrinkles and expression lines, with some people even having so-called preventative injections. If you're thinking about one or more of these treatments, what do you need to know? Fillers. Rather than just smoothing or tightening skin, an injectable filler aims to change the facial profile to a more youthful one. The injection of filler materials under the skin can fill in deep folds, such as nasolabial folds, that's the ones between your nose and your mouth, create fuller lips and pad out hollow cheeks and eyes. Collagen used to be the standard filler, but now hyaluronic acid with brand names like Restylane is more popular. How long do fillers last? Hyaluronic acid fillers last 6 to 12 months. Synthetic fillers such as Radius, 12 to 18 months. Fat transfers, your own body fat injected into your face can sometimes last several years, though there's a chance the fat will be quickly reabsorbed back into the body. Do fillers hurt? The injections hurt and the pain will vary depending on the patient and the area being injected. Anaesthetic is generally used for the lips, as the injections cause a burning and stinging that is intolerable for most. What are the risks associated with fillers? The most common side effects of fillers are bruising, infection and allergic reaction. There can be significant complications if the operator accidentally injects filler into blood vessels, the most common being potential skin loss. Beware of permanent fillers, which are prone to significant and long-term side effects. Anti-wrinkle injections. The anti-aging properties of the botulinum toxin, sold as Botox and Dysport, are behind many a well-preserved face in Hollywood. When injected, Botox relaxes muscles, preventing skin from creasing and causing wrinkles. It's effective for frown and surprise lines on the forehead and crow's feet around the eyes. Where can you get Botox? Botox is a prescription-only drug although people who aren't medical professionals do currently inject it. This can be done by non-doctors obtaining prescriptions from doctors, or in the case of beauty clinics, having one doctor supervising multiple non-medical injectors without being in the room during the procedures. Botox should be prescribed and used by doctors in appropriate settings, says Jeff Lyons, President of the Australian Society of Plastic Surgeons. If it's being injected by someone else, it should be done under supervision with a doctor on the premises. Non-invasive procedures like fillers and Botox are considered low risk, but that doesn't mean no risk. Does Botox hurt? The pain has been described as similar to that of an ant bite, lasting for a few seconds. How long does Botox last? The effects of Botox facial injections typically last three to four months, but they can last longer with ongoing treatment. What could go wrong if you get Botox? Possible side effects of Botox are usually temporary and restricted to the area of injection. They include drooping of the eyelids, bruising, headache, face pain, redness, swelling at the injection site, skin tightness, muscle weakness, numbness or a feeling of pins and needles and nausea. In rare cases, the toxin's effects can also spread away from the injection site, causing more serious side effects, including issues with swallowing, speaking or breathing, which can be severe in cases where larger doses of Botox are administered. So here's your injectable checklist. First, choose a practitioner who is a qualified medical doctor or supervised by one to perform the procedure. Second, attend a consultation before committing to the injectables and ask for a treatment plan to outline how much work you need and how often you'll need to return. Third, consider the ongoing cost of keeping up with the treatments. 
And fourth, make sure you wait several days after attending your first consultation and before getting injectables to give you time to think about your decision. The information in this video is from Australia's Choice magazine. Thanks for watching. My name is Sue Tamani. For alternative methods of treating wrinkles, skin spots, acne scars, stretch marks and other signs of skin ageing, please see the link below.